together. Um,
We saw what you would call that kind of structure. Check that go with you guys. What are you thinking about what's working out there? Is it more like um, Seymour Simon and almost nobody loves, or is it more like something that's in chronological? And so it's it's mostly just telling about or describing them, right? Here's about what it means. So what kind of a structure would you say this is? Do you agree? Yeah. And, and why you're saying that is what? How do you know? Exactly, and you don't have to read this book in order, do you? Like if you wanted to find out something about, um, so if you wanted to find about predators with poison, then you could turn to page 23, right? It doesn't have to be in order. It's just giving you lots of descriptions about a lot of things around this time. Okay. So do you want to do you want to um, get that down, or do you want to look a little more? Sure. Okay, I'll leave you. If you need any more posts, I'll just leave it here. And then when you finish this, if you decide in fact it is descriptive, then you can just get another one and choose one that maybe looks a little different to see if it's organized in a different way. Okay. All right. Nice work. Eventually, eventually, it's not like chronological, right? So this book is more. Um, so tell us, tell us about what you want to do, right? Is that right? So what do you think is a small bag? Oh, you know what I'm talking about? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is this book? Yeah, do you have that? In the way the information is organized, is it about? So we would say that is Now, let's see the next book is So right after and while she's doing that, can you just write the names here so we'll kind of know who's who? That's the way lots of seems like lots of nonfiction books are organized in that way, right? So why don't you pick, pick another one that maybe looks like it might be organized in a different way? What's that one? Now, just by looking at this, Bird, the most interesting book you'll ever read about eating, what, how would you predict? What kind of a structure would you predict? Gross. Well, besides gross, I don't think that's a structure. <laughs> what kind of a text structure do you think that would be? Check it out. You're getting good at this, huh? What is it? I would then, then write that on there and try to see if you can find this is in yet. Oh, that's the first one. Let's see what else you want to do. Do you want to look at these so you're not, you're not sitting there? Which of these two would you want? Okay, do you want to look at someone else? Oh, it is in chronological order because it's about his life. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking it was going to be just. 
And look at this, they even have Q&A, Q&A, Q&A. I'm starting to think, look at that, are big ears helpful? Q&A, Q&A, Q&A. How do you think this is structured? What are you thinking? Answer, I think you're onto something. Let's see, does it keep going along in that way? It does. Do birds have noses? Who loves a sugar? So this one is organized by question and answer. So it's it is descriptive. It's about animals, but I think I think you would do you, would you leave this or would you change your thinking? Yeah. I, and that's something that you used to think was about this, but now you're thinking, okay, not so much. Now it's Q and A, right? Okay. So do you want to just take it off and change it? I don't think anybody has discovered that yet. Will you tell everybody what you learned? right before you even read it. Uh-oh, this book is going to be... Yeah, so it's going to be chronological. Absolutely. Now, what did you find out about your sweetheart? Oh, what about this one? Oh, but let's just... Think. Okay, so were you doing this one? Yeah. But let's just think a minute. What we know about Seymour Simon. Like, what would you think? He does. It's going to be because it's about animals. Did, did you find that it was descriptive because it's about an animal? So it's all about wolves. Yeah, it's just lots and lots of information and beautiful pictures, right? So this is descriptive. This is chronological. And oh, you have the same one. Okay. Cool. Do you see now what I'm starting to understand is sometimes just by looking at the cover and reading it, the front and the back, we can figure out how it's going to be organized, and so then we know when we read it, okay, it's going to start out when she's a little, or in this case, what she does at the beginning of the day. Oh, you guys are getting so good at this. Do you want to go get some more books? Go see what you can learn. Okay, go get some more. I think you one, you're writing what the structure is going to be on and how you know. You have to have What should we and 
So then look closely at each chapter. Does it go in order of how Alexander Graham Bell is making phones? That might be something that doesn't go in order. Well, we looked in the table. So what does that tell you? Well, look, telephone is chosen. What does that tell you? Yeah. So think about how you know that. What would you say to the I'm going to call everybody to you. Boys and girls, everybody listen. Right now. Let's try it again. Everybody listen. Right now. So melodious. I love that. Let's just um, think a minute. Um, if you could just put your books down for a minute, we're going to take a little break and then you can get back at it. But I'm interested in knowing um, what kinds of things are you learning? What kinds of things are you noticing? Let's hear a little bit about some of the text structures that you've discovered so far. Okay, what have you learned, sweetheart? Can you just stand up so we can all hear and see you? Oh, well, our group, we have a chronological book. And by, we found that by looking inside of it and oh, on the front and the back of the book. So talk a little bit about what were the words on the front of the cover that let you know, okay, this book is, it's structured chronologically. Okay. Can you show everybody what you've discovered? Oh, is, oh did you turn that thing? Oh, and let's leave your sticky notes on it, just so. But so it's called, can you read the title? A day, um, Sarah Morton's Day, A Day in the Life of the Pilgrim Girl. So when you read that, A Day in the Life of the Pilgrim Girl, what do you know already? It's going to start probably in the morning and move all the way through her day. So they looked through it, they confirmed that, and so now you know that this book is structured chronologically. Did your group have a, a different type of um, structure? Yes, was. Why don't you talk a little bit, sweetie? Well, think about your Seymour Simon book. Let's keep your books that you have, actually. Sorry. Better, you can do it. What, was, what structure did so you stand notice? Up. Well, this structure. And how do you know? So they kind of talk about the words, like the pictures. That's right. And isn't it like, aren't we learning about Seymour Simon that that's kind of the kind of book he writes, descriptive. That's his organizing feature or structure, really. Yeah, right? I also have another book about Seymour Simon. And was it the same way? No, I haven't read it yet. Oh, you haven't read it yet, but you can predict, right? Okay, so we've got chronological, we've got um, descriptive. Did anybody find another um, structure that you're thinking about? Yeah, why don't you stand up and talk about what you learned? Oh, look at this. Amazing animals. And then it's got Q&A. And then when you open it up, like, like what does this one say? So then this answers that question. And then the amazing thing here is it's Q&A. So question and answer, question and answer, question and answer. So you see this author, who is this guy? Oh, this is one of those um, DK books. So this series is organized, at least this, this one, is organized by question and answer. That's another organizing um, structure, really. Do you see? So now when you read this, you know what to expect. Thank you. Did you come up with another one? Yeah, our book was um, on by chapters, so because not all books are by chapters. Okay. So. This would be the challenge for you then, is to take a look at the chapter and see if there's anything else besides chapters that's, that's the way it's organized. Although that does, it, that, that does seem like to be somehow how it's organized, right? So how are the chapters organized? You might, you might do some more thinking about that. So how's it going? Do you feel like, did you have something to share? What did you learn? Yeah, um, in our, in our book, yeah. we found that there I found out that um, when they were seeing a certain kind of order, I found out that it tells us what might be coming up. Like, it tells us what's going to be coming up later on in the book. Really? So it kind of gives you clues. Did you write that on your cover? Okay. And one last piece. You guys are, do you feel smarter now than you were when you started? Yeah. I do too. That is awesome. 
Can you leave? Um, I have to. Um, no, I have to. I get to talk to some teachers tonight after um, after we're done, and I would love to share with them some of the learning that you did. So would you keep your um, stickers, your your um, post-it notes on your book, so maybe I can share just a few of them. So don't take them off. Leave them right on the front. And let's take about another. Um, I'd say about 10 minutes to either um, work on the books that you have or there are some other books here and see if there's <coughs> another structure that you're noticing that maybe you haven't discovered before. Okay? So we'll take a little bit more time and let's see what we can learn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just put these on the books, though. So, like, put this on the table, this one on Nobody Loves, what? Sea Turtles, put this where this goes. Okay, now this is going to be a challenge. And then so you put that in. And then you pass it away. Okay, so here's where I want to have it in the middle. Okay, you have to go in that certain order. This book is kind of weird. This is going to be quite weird. You have to do some even deeper things like this. Because this is organized in such a way. Oh, hang on. I heard something. Did you hear a fireplace? Not airplanes, so it's got to be about what I was meant to have. Well, that's something to figure out. But I think this book is organized so, in a way that we want to talk about it. So here, so that's your task. Your challenge is to see if you can figure out how this book is organized. Look so carefully at the table of contents. That's going to help you. And then look at the book and see if you can say, okay, how did this author organize this this book. How did he structure it so we can understand it? So I want you to be a big part of this. Looking at those chapters and see what you can figure out. Let them see it, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, how do you think it's organized? I think it's so happy that they are. They are. They are. So is it is the watery world? Is it water all around? Is it just describing? <coughs> <coughs> this is like a sound like there's like several types of water. Mm -hmm. Could they have put props with water at the beginning? And then we're going to join together in a big circle and talk just a little bit more about what we learned about ourselves today.